This Sunday fun day edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is your home for esports, international soccer, and a ten thousand dollar blackjack madness tournament. Use the promo code SGP and get up to one thousand dollars in bonus bets. MyBookie.ag promo code SGP to play, win, and get paid at MyBookie. We're also brought to you by Prop Swap. You don't have to go to Vegas to buy Vegas bets. Prop swap is available in many states where there is no sports betting. Use the promo code SGP and you get a 100% deposit bonus up to $100. That's propswap.com, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Hawthorne. Hawthorne are the makers of customized cologne, shampoo, and body wash. That's H A W T H O R N E dot C O and use our code SGP to get 10% off your purchase. Hawthorne.co promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Simply Safe. Simply Safe Home Security is like getting commercial grade enterprise level security before your own home. Go to simplysafe.com slash SGP to get free shipping on your order plus a 60 day money back guarantee. That's S I M P L I safe.com slash SGP to save on home security today. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in paperhead providers and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money. Kramer, what's happening, Kramer? Dog. Who are Sean? We are coming to you live from this SGPN studios, broadcasting all across the globe. Sean, yes. It during times of crisis, it's when you really see yes. who we can follow, who the leaders of Wait, our society are, need to be. Who who are the character builders? Who are there in your time of need? Who are there? Checking up on uh, DGENs, making sure they're well. We'll be getting to some DGEN wellness checks, but PTI canceled. Around the horn, canceled. High noon, canceled. That may have been a ratings thing, but unrelated. ESPN <laughs> in their fancy studios, in their you know their gilded towers. They're not they're not men of the people. They're not holed up in a garage, drinking Bud Light seltzers, living the dream. A studio, Sean. Please, yes, a studio. A studio. The offices, the corporate headquarters, the corporate headquarters of SGP. Breaking Whoa. news. That, that was on me. That was on okay. Me. There we go. Breaking news: bars and breweries closed in California. Which it just this again the the nightmare is not ending, but I wish it just all would have happened. Like it, the Band-Aid analogy is apt, right? <laughs> Just rip the thing off. Just tell me there's gonna be. Just I wake up one day and I read a thing that says everything's fucked, and you go, oh, okay, I must be going out to bars, uh, watching March Madness. But they just slowly peel it off, and each day, each hour, it's more bad news. But there's, you know, people aren't here, Ryan, to hear us moan and bitch. They can do that at home. They can listen. To, okay. They can look on any sort of social media. There's just so much. There's just so much shit to complain about, but we're going to lean in. There is still stuff happening that we can bet on. There is still fun sports news. There is still the bites bracket. We're also working on putting together. I don't even want to start describing what may happen, but it would involve giving away a lot of money no. for watching potential simulations of sporting events. It's Sean, very, very early stages. Where would we get this money from? Well, and that's, and that brings us to. Shout out, of course, to mybookie.ag, your, you know, your refuse in your time of need. You got eight hours to kill. Head over to the casino, get some craps going. The Blackjack Madness tournament. Why not? What better time? And again, they're uh, they're the presenting sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast. They make all this happen. We need, uh, you know, you need to show a little DJ and love to mybookie.ag presenting sponsor. Use that promo code SGP, where you can play when you get paid up to one thousand dollars in bonus bets. If you've been sitting on the fence. Perfect time to hop in, check things out. They got slot machines, of course. We have uh, MMA still around, Mexican soccer, esports. We're gonna be doing some uh, MMA later on in the week. 
and a little NFL, a little dabbling of the National Football League grind. But again, this Sunday, all about having fun. Perfect time to segue into our bites bracket update. Things are getting heated right now. If you're if you're listening to this live, head over to At Gambling Podcast. Make your voice heard because uh, I mean things are getting real. It last I checked, it was a dead heat, exactly even between wow. DGens only and Long Cox right now. It is fifty point six percent for Long Cox, forty nine point four percent for DGens only. DGens only wow. a ten seed. Long Th- Cox a two seed. But the, the love of hashtag DGens only is, I mean, hashtag DGens only. I'm, I'm, I look back to when that moment first happened, and I'm so glad I pulled it because <laughs> I had, I was in my head. I go, is the audience gonna think this is funny? I think yes. it's funny, but maybe uh, you know, is it just, it's just a guy mispronouncing stuff. But the more I listen to it, the more I'm like, you know what, Sean, you are right. This is just awesome. It's a, it's a top seed of bracket. I, I think a lot of people. Had DGens only making a run into the into the Elite Eight. I mean, right now we're in the Sweet 16, but I, I think I I mean I got to look at my bracket. I may have had them going Final Four, but Long Cox is tough to shake. I have not Long updated Cox. I believe the leaderboard is one matchup behind, one final matchup behind. But Sean, we still had a perfect bracket. Oh my God, Mister Scott Mickelson. Was perfect. I think going into the baby, baby F and a whale, get your shit going mentally matchup. Uh, I, of course, Sean was in second place wow. with only one incorrect pick, which was myself <laughs> be, losing to Shakira. Ryan did not believe in himself enough to bet I, on himself. But uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm truly excited to see some of these nail biters come down to the wire. I think DJ's only is going to make a late run. People are going to see this. People are going to realize, Hey, uh, we know that John Gruden just got voted out, but could this be the first back to back send home? Yeah, that'll be surprising. If uh, there was going to be a drop to be responsible for the tail end of a back to back, it would be dead only the new rallying cry. Yeah. But Sean, are, yes. I was earlier talking about moments of crisis requ- requiring people to take that step up and become leaders. So as, as that organization, Sean, the sports gambling podcast yes. and the sports gambling podcast network has decided we're not canceling that show. We're leaning into that show and we will be live streaming our shows, our podcasts. Well, and, and the reason to go full live stream makes a lot of sense because normally <laughs> you probably listen to the podcast. Yep. You listen on your commute. Uh, you maybe listen at the gym. Now maybe those options aren't available anymore. Oh, good you call. listen while you're traveling. Now this this gives you an excuse. You're probably like me. Your wife is driving you crazy. Uh, it's not even like anything particular thing. It's just, uh, do you want to have uh, like, uh, should we reheat the manicotti for dinner? It's like, why'd you say manicotti like that? Like every little thing you're like, I just need to get out of the house. I need a destination. Um, and also the fact that we're live, you're like, Hey, my show's on the guys. Uh, it gives you an excuse to head out to the man cave. Yeah. Throw on your headphones escape. Hey honey, Where- I got to go watch uh, <laughs> two dudes on the internet. I the sports <laughs> gambling podcast. It's really important. It's like, there's no sports anymore. Yeah, but these guys, they're talking about some other stuff kind of related to sports. And uh, I really need to, I need to see if my bites bracket hit that $500 could be uh, paying our rent this month. Could uh, be, could be. I, I don't know about you, but not, you know, do, does the sports gambling podcast offer sick pay <laughs> or will we demand that Colby brings his sick ass up here? Sean, let's check in with those fans. Boston capper wanting to know. Yes. Uh, who are you cheating on Jameson with? Well, uh, not this- sure. This was from Colby. This could be the Trojan horse. <laughs> that is the coronavirus. We may have in the to studio. quarantine the database. This is a high noon whiskey, which we had last episode, and it was uh, pretty delicious. So, and that uh, was Jameson. Over- still is my go-to whiskey. Love Jameson. I ordered it at this like fancy bar in uh, Los Angeles mm. way back when you were allowed to go to bars. Yep. And <laughs> they're like, "Oh, really, a Jameson?" Oh, they like they dye that. Oh, they use some sort of color. And uh, just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Give me a Jameson on the rocks. Really, that I was a thing. Jameson they, uses they, artificial color. I don't know. They had some. <laughs> they had some snobby like 
trying to shit on Jameson. Yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a man of the people, okay? Yes, yes. I drink man of the people whiskey. It's uh, what else what else are you going to drink? Jameson is delicious. My palate and liver are accustomed to it. And uh shout out to Vons. I know right now you could be price gouging, but Vons was running some crazy sale. 750 milliliters of the cask mates uh yeah. Jameson for only $16. So I stocked up on that and uh, I'm good to go. You got, you stocked up on the important stuff uh, heading over to the YouTube comments, Simon chiming in commenting on my baby face. I appreciate you <laughs> noticing. Oh, wow. I T- didn't even turns realize. out the uh, shave the beard. Down. Yeah. You know, the, I don't think the, the lady was on board for my Corona, uh, my Corona beard. I wasn't going <laughs> to shave until we cured it. Yeah. But, uh, that, that would that, inspire. That got next. We got uh Danny Ellie over at uh over in Facebook Live. Wow. DJ's only is classic. Yes, sir, it is. And it's it's high west whiskey. Maybe I said high noon because I was thinking about <laughs> shows that aren't on because they're scared. And that wasn't even look at this. We got our fans correcting us. To be honest, you're probably wondering, wow, how many producers do you guys have behind the scenes feeding you guys? No one. Yeah. Doing this all myself. We're doing it live, putting the team on the back. And you mentioned how you just needed to get out of the house. Not me, Sean. I am enjoying every <laughs> moment. I, I've really enjoyed finding every nook and cranny in the home. And you know, things have been very peaceful. You know, who knew? Yeah, exactly. Who knew? I no can see no that. conflict at all. No, no. Everyone's just getting along great. It just great to hang out and just spend tremendous amount of un uh, unplanned for quality time. Each day is a gift. I will Let's say. Enjoy it. We, you know, this, the rain in Southern California broke this morning uh, where I live for the first time in a while. And so we're like, oh, we should go for a walk. Of course. Great idea. We go outside. Everyone's doing the same thing. But there's this weird dynamic where when a- you're walking on the same sidewalk, but I'm going east and you're going west. A lot of people were making the decision just to go out onto the street. <laughs> now, granted, this is a, a road where there's a whole bike path there, too. So not super strange. We did have a dog. Granted, it's very small. Yes. But people were definitely avoiding any sort of uh, any sort of touching. So, yeah, I, I uh, yesterday drove up into the mountains, Wrightwood, California. <laughs> nice. It was just it got just because I saw some snow hung out there, had a couple beers. It's nice to stretch the legs, but the entire uh, my wife was just dragging her feet. She went, she's training for a marathon, which you can't get mad at your wife for exercising. No, but I would, I, I wanted to leave earlier. So then she has the truck and I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. She comes home. I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then whenever I like push her like that, she has this oh, move. No. Women find this like 80, 75% gear that they shift down into <laughs> where it's, she's clearly <laughs> still getting ready, but not at the normal speed she would get, but it's not, it's not, substantial enough where if I yelled at her, then it's like, Oh, I'm a monster. <laughs> so I had to deal with that, <laughs> but we're, we're all doing fine. We got some, actually, we do have some legit NFL news. Ryan Tannehill signed a, uh, wow. I mean, Great I, day for Ryan's across the globe. <laughs> Ryan's are just celebrating Tannehill 118 million total 29 and a half average per year, 62 million guaranteed 91 million total guaranteed. That's a huge deal for Tannehill. And I look at the Eagles deal with Carson Wentz. That's, I mean, you're basically paying almost the same price, maybe a little bit more for Carson Wentz. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. I love that we're paying the same price uh, that the Titans are paying for Ryan Tannehill. You really have to be worried for, uh, well, the, the Chiefs, they're going to have to be going 200 million plus guaranteed or whatever, Dak. something crazy. <laughs> Dak, Dakota <laughs> Rain Prescott. What does he end up signing for? If you're Jerry Jones, you got to be killing yourself because why did you not get this deal done before? Why are you, why are you letting Dak? And now, if you if you franchise Dak, could you imagine when then you actually have to sign him? It's going to be insane. I, I would imagine we are almost certainly walking down the road towards a franchise tag for Dak. I, I don't see what they do. I, and candidly, though, all right, as we were watching Ryan Tannehill last year, yes legit looked like a, a top half quarterback, right? Yeah. I, and I guess so. And that's what Wentz is. So I think it's a fair benchmark to say yeah, that I they're think, both I think top is, half guys. I think Wentz is uh top 10. They're but both big athletic, strong armed quarterbacks. And hey, here's the thing. I think Ryan Tannehill, I'm fine with him paying Tannehill. Cause I think that is the move. What I'm worried about as a Tennessee Titan backer 
you know, I, I went in all in on the Titans late in the yep. season, Ryan, Beat after them. we trashed them Once they unmercifully <laughs> for a long period of the beginning of the, uh, the, the season Hashtag tighten up and they did. Uh, I'm worried that I think part of Tate Hill's success was due to how awesome their running game was. Yeah. Now, can he do that again? Can he really, can the running back go just full beast mode again? I mean, he had yeah, Ryan and Derek, you haven't seen this one. Derrick Henry, awesome season, but I feel like I feel like Tannehill can probably have a similar season to what he did. But can Derrick Henry do what he did last year? It was just so crazy. He set the record for it was like eight games, most rushing yards in an eight game span all time in the NFL. I I, I think that's going to be tough to to do that again. Well, can you can you blame them for wanting to run it back? No, I, I mean, I, I thought they had good mojo as a team. Well, think, are, do we think this Tannehill quarterback deal is horrible or great 12 months from now? I don't think you're going to think it's horrible because he is clearly a starting caliber quarterback. And I, you just, you're just not going to be able to get a starting caliber quarterback less than that. I mean, I think maybe the move would have been to franchise him and really see if he has it. But then if he does, then you're paying out an insane amount after that. It, I mean, clearly the Titans saw Tom Brady and go, "This guy." It's a baby fucking wheel. Th- man. I mean, Mike Rabel doesn't believe in him. What is no. the free agent market for Tom Brady? We heard rumors that, of course, the Tampa Bay Bucks were going all in on acquiring old man Tom Brady. Where do you think he ends up, Kramer? We haven't really got into this yet. Where he officially lands? I it think. See, he- I mean, our buddy Mike Lombardi originally said he thought it was like eighty percent chance he'd stay with the Patriots. Then it was like. Towards the end well, of season, fifty percent. Now he's down to twenty percent chance he stays with the Patriots. Before we get to that, real quick, the Titans are the favorite to win the AFC South next year at plus one seventy five. Texans, Colts, both at plus two hundred. Jags at plus eight hundred, which is comical. Uh, I, I think them signing Tannehill. If they don't sign Tannehill, they're no longer the favorite. So I think, in a way, this is the right. Unfortunately, it's the right thing to do. It seems silly that Ryan Tannehill played like seven good games, and really, you have to put it in perspective. He played seven games where he, the bar was Marcus Mariota. Yeah, he so. did that, be- and he had Derrick Henry playing at an insane level. Which will he be able to match that? I, I guess we're gonna figure that out. I, I think it's fair to think that Derrick Henry will continue to produce. He, he and the offense. Uh, there's no reason for me to think he won't. Obviously, a lot of carries. Little concern there, but we'll see. He might have a couple of years left in him. Anyway, moving on to Tom Brady. Yes. Uh, hard not to really like this. Uh, I mean, he probably still is a Patriot, but I I think the Chargers theory is becoming well. And then there was I I didn't click on the link, but they were just saying that the Patriots are still going to try and lowball him. And now when you have these deals like Tannehill out there in the marketplace that even not, I mean, whatever Brady thought his deal was going to be, it's got to go up and he's not expecting a Patrick Mahomes type deal, but I don't think he's, I think he's expecting to get paid for past performance. He's expecting to get paid uh, based off a guy who had six super bowl rings, something that everyone reminded me when I tweeted out a photo of the Brady family quarantine, which was of course him making out with his son. Hashtag social distancing, Tom. But I think he's expecting, <laughs> like, not a a drop off from where I mean, less than Mahomes, but still, like, he's he wants a hundred million guaranteed. I mean, Tom Brady has been giving the Patriots charity, and it's gotten him rings. So, sure, maybe you feel like you're owed past dollars because you you would just always took that fifteen million dollar deal, but at the same time. Why not go somewhere else? Why, if you really want some cash to round it out, why not go to LA? Your wife's gonna be happy. You can get paid. You can open a stadium. You can do a bunch of press stuff. Your yeah. your your dollar value goes up being in LA. I, I think I think what really if the Chargers did have a chance, I He's think not, I, mean, I think losing uh, Okun, their left tackle, when that didn't uh, you know he's out <laughs> set up his Bitcoin conference, which is gonna get canceled. <laughs> But uh, when you lose him, I think that really hurts. But but the Florida thing is in play very much because of the taxes. Yeah. Tom Brady is a smart man, and if I'm you going can, all in on Trump, and I don't know what the tax situation is there in Massachusetts or Connecticut. I'm sure it's not great. Well, the and, fact that you have to pay state taxes—that's at well, least ten percent. And if you're going to get this mega contract, 
I could see him liking Bruce Arians. I could see him like throwing to uh, you know the, the the receivers they have in Tampa Bay. Two awesome receivers. I mean, both those guys were what top ten fantasy studs. So I could see the appeal of going down to Tampa Bay. And there's probably a lot of chatterheads that would convert. I mean, guys like our, to- our own Boston Capper who lives down in Florida. You don't think he would. Accidentally buy a Tom Brady Bucks they, jersey they and all show would. up. They would all jump off the Jimmy G bandwagon. They would have a new NFC team. It would be the Tampa Bay Bucks. And we just talked about a guy who benefited from a, the bar being so low in Ryan Tannehill and Marcus Mariota. Are you kidding me? The bar <laughs> yeah, is James Winston. He doesn't have to throw thirty interceptions. And I, I, they had great receivers. He had time. I mean, that's how he was able to throw thirty touchdowns. It, it, it Brady to the Bucks does make sense. Someone the in the question. Cha- well, sorry, I think you're going to get. But does he want to win a championship? And Johnny Mac throwing this out in the YouTube champ. But th- is that is that even the motivation? I don't. Th- oh, I I think maybe to some degree. But I think I think money is a big part of it. I I think it, when your wife makes that much more than you, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> and I think. It's one thing if your wife makes a little more than you, yeah. but if your wife is, is just dunking on you as far as how much money you're making <laughs> and you're Tom Brady, it's got to be a little embarrassing. But true, I, I think I think a big part of it is he wants to show he can succeed somewhere else without uh, that's, without Belichick. Now a, a title certainly would be that, but I think if he brings the Bucks to like if they if they win a playoff game in Tampa Bay, everyone would look at that as a huge success. For Brady and the box. So I think the bar is very low. Whereas if you came into like a team like the Chargers, I don't know. It's, I guess yeah, here's thing, it's I'll a low though. bar. The only thing, and I know that we've we've gotten a lot more national in marketing appeal and and big time endorsement deals, but it still does matter to be in a big place, New York, LA. And not to say that that Tampa isn't that, but Tampa isn't that. And that would be the one thing. Like, do you really think Giselle wants to live in Tampa? No. Bubba the Love Sponge lives in Tampa. <laughs> Hulk Hogan lives in Tampa. I I don't know if that's the demo yeah. for. T- and for supposedly TV they're going to stay kind of in that. If they if he doesn't if he does play somewhere else, they're going to kind of stay there because the kids are in school Aww. and it's only going to be like a two year deal. And and then he would fly back for a couple of days and fly. But I mean, and that's why Indy makes sense for him a little bit. I, I don't think he'll actually pull the trigger there. I still think Rivers could end up in uh, Indianapolis. I, and Someone I think that was makes, throwing that out in the chat. Yeah, Matt. I think that makes a lot of sense. Phil uh, Phil Rivers to the Colts. They have a great offensive line. They play in a dome, and that's the other thing. I think Brady and Rivers, older quarterbacks, playing in a dome. You got to just look at that. I mean. They're always beef with Peyton Manning was like, oh yeah, the guy played in a dome. And that's yeah. a great point. You look at quarterbacks who play in the dome, their stats are so padded. That's got to be appealing for a guy on his last contract to not have to play outdoors. It does well, and that it, are they moving? Are they relocating the army of rivers? <laughs> the rivers, the rivers. Will the river, are- river flow through Indy. Yeah, I would imagine it'll be similar, but it, I like if I'm Rip Phillip Rivers, that's a dream opportunity. You get to go somewhere with, you still have some offensive weapons, good offensive line for sure, defense, and maybe a real shot. That that would be a dream scenario if I'm Philip Rivers. Yeah, and um, I think Philip. If I you're think, indie, do you go after? Are you going after? Are you I, still selling Andrew Luck? What are the odds he comes back? <laughs> well, he's. Uh, I mean, his backpacking trip. He he doesn't even know what's going on with the coronavirus. They they haven't even gotten word yet in the hostel. And then by the time with the travel restrictions for him to get back to United States soil He's and see a training camp, it's uh it's just not gonna happen. So all right, Kramer. Boston Capper chiming in. Hundred per hundred hundred percent buying a Brady jersey if he goes somewhere. It's else. a baby fucking wheel, man. Oh, it is, baby. Boston Capper, he's gonna support Tom Brady and the New England Pats wherever they go. Propswap.com. Throw a perfect time to sign up, deposit over propswap.com. Obviously, we know a future market, it's on hold. But why not before this deal is over? Get that 100 percent a match deposit or hundred percent extra money on your first deposit. Use that promo code SGP. Just send it over to propswap.com. Sports will be back. Why not have that $200 ready to go in the chamber, ready to fire? Because 
MLB futures. As soon as they decide the season start, you know those future tickets are going to go up. NBA, that's still kind of in flux. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But all these sports are going to come back. Uh, we're going to start seeing NFL futures soon. Head over there now. Go to propswap.com. Use the promo code SGP. Support PropSwap. But again, in these trying times, support the sponsors of the podcast. Help keep the content train rolling over here at Sports Gambling Podcast. Kramer, we normally make a strict rule of not talking about politics. I'm going mm. all in on Trump. Just because it's stupid and it's not that fun. But desperate times call for desperate measures. And to be fair, we're not talking about politics politics no we're talking about a fantasy event exactly surrounding a political in the event. same way yes this is a dfs thing and we're not actually gambling because this is a game of skill and this <laughs> that's we're splitting the same hairs there uh some of these dfs sites they have um they've been setting up a democratic debate which should be which is tipping off here in an hour west coast time so if you're listening, watching this live, you have a chance to play these lineups. Uh, if you're not, if you're listening to this on the pod, you missed out on a chance to cash these sweet, sweet lineups. Well, and candidly, I have no real clue how this game is going to be played. And I no. think you're going to get two points for your MVP, 1.5 for your all-star and one for everything else. No idea for, for the times. Maybe uh, I guess, do you want to, do you want to explain it? Should I basically? Yeah. So they, the, the DFS site, which we'll go regard, we'll go nameless. The rival of DraftKings, DraftKings.com promo code SGP. The rival, they have set up a thing where it's all between Biden and Bernie, different things they'll say, and then you can spend your dollars accordingly. Um, I'm still having trouble figuring out. Like, it, it feels like the way they set it up. If it's only one point for them saying the word, that there would be an insane amount of ties. I think maybe it's somehow tied to the money. I think it's every time they say it. Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. Then that changes everything. Oh, okay. okay. That's not how. I, so I was approaching. I mean, I it. don't. I don't think it adjusts my scoring or in my lineup, but I do think. Uh, all right. Then my it, then thoughts that were sense. this: every time this thing happens, so there's a list of things like Bernie says coronavirus, Biden says coronavirus. Uh, and they're priced accordingly. My take was that every time that happens, you get a point. Yes. Or in this case, and then there's unlike DraftKings where you have a captain seat, which is 1.5, and then everyone else, you have a MVP seat, which is 2x. You have an All Star seat, which is 1.5x, and you have three utility spots. So hundred dollars, five spots to spend. The price doesn't change based on the spot. That's that's why I think it's points, just pure weighted points. All right. So with all of that said, this starts in one hour tip off there's one a hour. Free, and if you're, if you're not wanting to spend any money, go to found FanDuel. There's a free, yeah. or sorry, the rival of DraftKings. <laughs> there there's go. a free one. Uh, should I start? Yeah. My MVP Biden MVP? says coronavirus. Mm. He is leaning in to the fact that he would have done a better job than tr Mr. Donald J. Trump. It's tough to imagine, but okay. And uh, basically, the favorites, the two fifty dollars items, are both uh, candidates, either candidate like Bernie and Biden, to say coronavirus. I think Biden leans in, made him the captain, made him the MVP. I think I'm I'm going with now that I did the math there, where you pointed out it's the number of times they say it. What does Bernie Sanders hate? People who are successful and have money, aka billionaires. Ooh. Bernie says billionaire. I'm making that my MVP. Wow. It's only five dollars, but I can see him going. The billionaires, the billionaire class. Billionaires are taking your money. Billionaires, the billionaire healthcare industry. Wow, okay. Billion. I I can see him saying billionaire a number of times. It's only five dollars. Lock that up for me. I remember when you you used to be the chalk guy, and I was the yeah. We flipped it's roles changed. for my all star. I went with either says middle class. Because I, while I thought about your angle there, that feels more from a negative perspective. And this is, this is because this is going to be Bernie versus Biden. I think the middle class word, obviously it's priced accordingly. It's $22. I think they see middle class a shitload. I think they're going to lean because honestly, that's where the Democrats lost the last election. They will lean into the middle class. Um, 
I, I honestly, I did more prep on this than I should have. <laughs> For me, this was easy for my uh, all-star spot. Either says Medicare, thirty-two dollars. <laughs> Bernie, his whole thing. If you've uh, ever seen a person on Twitter, yeah. Medicare for all, Medicare for all, Medicare for all. Biden has also talked about Medicare. His demographic is old people who love them yep. some Medicare. So I think both these people will be uh, touting their Medicare. They're gonna be they're gonna be like Vegas Dave, but instead of Mega Whale plays, they'll be talking about Medicare. Give me a uh, Medicare for 32 the bucks. The funniest thing about their profile pictures in this contest, they're, they're so old and white. They look the same. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, all right. My third one. Now we're into the utility spots. Just straight one point per per uh, action. Either says wash hands. Mm. I had to get cheap $4. Yep. I figure each of them will at least say this once or twice. Yeah. At I least. Mean, it's it's con and I could see it being used as a positive and as a negative. You know, the government's just saying wash your hands. We should be doing so much more. Yeah. Of course, it's important to wash your hands, yeah. uh, which makes me want to wash my hands. I also had wash my hands or wash hands at four dollars. I threw that in there as well. Kramer, what's your next guy? Didn't that feel like the most obvious? Well, maybe we're being chalky with that one. My next one, I went with either says travel ban. I think again, had to go cheap for $8. I think there will be opportunities to be critical of some of the travel ban, some of the way it's being rolled out, some of the ways that they might have rolled it out better, maybe communicated it better. I think mm. there's going to be a lot of leaning into areas where, and this is why the debate will be interesting because they won't really be debating at that point. They'll just be pointing out ways they would have done things better. So I'm going to travel ban for $8. Again, I had to conserve dollars. I have a lot of cash left. I used it on Bernie saying coronavirus. I know yeah, you said oh. Biden uh, uses coronavirus. I think Bernie says coronavirus and I think he uses it. I think we get a double play here where mm. we Bernie says coronavirus and Medicare in the same sentence saying if we had Medicare <laughs> for all, this wouldn't be an issue. The coronavirus, which, which by the way, they, they call this out particularly COVID-19 counts for coronavirus. Yes. So for those who and are singular and plurals count the same yeah. as well. Uh, so all worth the uh, noted here in the scoring uh, Kramer. I think you have one more left. Yes, I do. And that's Bernie says climate change. Mm. Uh, I think he's hey, this is, I mean, maybe this won't be time appropriate. Maybe it will. Uh, maybe he'll go all the way down the route of the, you know, where did this really come from? Sean, was it a weapons facility in China? Are we talking about the beginning of a global warfare that China, I don't know if he's going to go there, but I do think Bernie's going to say climate change. Could see uh, that it's, it's one I'm, of his things. Doesn't he have to, it, it, I would be surprised if he doesn't mention climate change. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Biden says climate change here. And the reasoning is, Oh, he's been seen, you know, by like the far left is, Oh, you don't give a shit about that. We're all going to die or whatever. So Biden is going to throw out climate change mm. as a way to win some of the Bernie people over like, Hey, I care about <laughs> climate change as much as my uh, buddy, Bernard Sanders, you know, give me, come on. I'm talking climate change. It's getting hot in here. Must be that climate change. I uh, know he wouldn't, he wouldn't make a joke. But yeah, I I think I think it's uh, someone pointed out in the chat it's similar to a, a stack in your regular it DFS is. lineup quarterback receiver. I'm doing a <laughs> I'm a doing a Dem debate stack with Bernie Sanders coronavirus either says Medicare and then uh, climate change. As well, well, I think the either says wash hands can be tied into that too. There should be combo points if a sentence includes Corona. Oh, yeah, like the third one should go to like triple triple word score. All right, that that felt a little gross talking that much politics, Ryan. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move over to the Dgen Wellness Check, uh, where we check in with our hardcore degenerates, see how they're doing, making sure the community stays safe out there. Oh, speaking of, perfect time to talk about Hawthorne, baby. Hawthorne.co. Oh man, smelling good could never be more important, right? You're holed up in a quarantine with your lady. You're still trying to get some, you're still trying to get laid. Meanwhile, you don't want to smell BO. And if you're just hanging around all the time, you're going to uh, just smell gross laying around streaming stuff left and right. You want, you want to smell good. 
you smell good you live good and they have tons of body wash other sort of th- get those germs off you and let hawthorne.co help they got a uh, quick two minute quiz hawthorne tells you the two colognes that are best for you one for work one for play and again combining them because you're just hanging out in one area for a couple days work and play it's a real party uh, I love it. The the personalized deodorant, shampoo, body wash. It's I smell great. My wife has complimented me on my wow. Okay, uh, said I had an enchanting musk. <laughs> she didn't actually say that, but she has complimented me uh, as far as how I smell after using Hawthorne washing. Again, couldn't be more important right now. Check out Hawthorne.co and they deliver. Right, that's the best part. Hawthorne.co. That's Hawthorne with an E, H A W T H O R N E. .co. Use that promo code SGP. Get 10% off your first purchase. Hawthorne.co. Bet good, smell good, Ryan. Or smell good, bet good, rather. That's right, bro. Okay, time to move over to the DJ and wellness check. We tweeted out the number before. If you're a DJ and just looking to talk, of course, our Slack is a great place to come and connect with fellow DJs. We're. I'm pulling my hair out. Where do I get these virtual camel races to bet on? What exactly is these sports? Can, I, should I be betting on the weather? Should I, I be I betting say, on the lottery? I, I saw an option to bet on the weatherman. I, I think there, you know, join the community. It, things are ideas are being thrown around. Slack dot sports gambling podcast dot com, and we'll we'll send out the uh, the number again on Twitter to call, leave a voicemail. We we're loaded up on these. We're gonna kind of do a couple each day as we. Uh, We'll, we'll figure it out. You can also, if you, if you, if you don't feel like you want to leave a voicemail, you can send a text message. Uh, feel free. We are here to help Sean this week or this episode. Uh, we have a, uh, I don't even know if we got a name. No, he left it anonymous and probably because he was critiquing his uh, girlfriend, <laughs> probably smart to keep it anonymous. Exactly. Hey guys, I don't know what to do with myself really. I'm a 32 year old, uh, just absolute degenerate. Uh, I started when I was, I guess, about 16, you know, playing poker with the boys. You know, that evolved into some sports betting and some blackjack. Now, uh, now it's definitely craps is my game for full degen status. The casino I usually go to is in Oklahoma. Don't want to go and catch the corona that those fucking <laughs> jazz players infected all over the area. Maybe I'll just have to tough it out and take them for the team and get it. But yeah, I I can't just sit around and spend time with my annoying fucking girlfriend. (laughs) I guess I just sit around and smoke as much weed as possible and go through as many cans of dip I can. But I I, I appreciate you guys continuing to put out content. I never thought I'd dabble in esports or anything like that. But hey, times are tough. So hey, I hope you all can make it through this. Uh, I hope I can make it through this. Uh, I follow Kramer on Instagram. It's uh, mm, Chet 3 uh, n Anything you guys can put out there that I can bet on, let me know. Um, I'm certainly open to to anything. <laughs> that was awesome. So shout out to mm, Chet, who uh, <laughs> just packing massive lippers, waiting for sports to fully return. But well, we we got a couple stuff, some esports. Some, uh, I mean, we as of now we're planning on doing an MMA episode coming up because Why Dana not? White, Dana White's just leaning into the fact that like fuck it, we're gonna do these in <laughs> close quarters and yeah. and quarantine everyone and 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 uh, do it. So he's claiming that the fight will go on this Saturday. So did you watch it? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I I saw a little bit. No, I I saw some of the prelims. Did you watch the whole thing? We had a bit of a. a invested interest yes. in the fight. And so I did. And it was weird that like you, like they still had an announcer. Yeah. They still announced the fight to nobody. You would think if you're going to get rid of the ring girl, because no one's there, why not get rid of the announcer because no one's there. Anyway, you could hear like, it, it just sounded like you were watching two dudes wrestle in a gym. <laughs> like that's all it sounded like. Yeah. The audio is, is pretty interesting. It reminds me of that, uh, that great Adam Sandler bit. From the CD, <laughs> where he's like the, the whole the whole it's one of the classic like Adam oh, Sandler CD bits. Definitely where a classic. They're go, the premise of the sketch is they're going around asking, "Are is this noise of two guys working out or two guys having sex?" <laughs> and it's uh, look that up on Spotify or iTunes. It's a, it's an all timer. Uh, it's Adam Sandler. They're all gonna laugh at me or something oh, okay. like that. Yeah, it's one of the early albums. 
and he children some- or sorry millennials this is when uh, comedy cds used to be released in the format where there would be like tracks yeah so like almost like sketches, sketches mixed in with bits i i don't know like different yeah. time do, do people and does anyone do a sandler style comedy scene anymore the last person to do one was norm put out one oh yeah that was that was pretty great uh <laughs> that one i would highly recommend as well but yeah do yourself a favor if you're looking to kill some time look up an old who Adam is it sandler at this point, cd right exactly that's what we're doing killing time we have another one uh ryan from a friend of the program right Oh, are we, are we, where are we going with that? I, I, I did not prepare. We'll save that for next one. Okay. Uh, we also were getting texts that uh, <laughs> apparently you can text the number and we got one that just said, please, Mr. Green and Mr. Kramer help us through these tough times without gambling. So we got you, bro. We're doing our best uh, we're throwing out more things to gamble on and just uh, having fun uh, being uh DJs. Uh, you know, living it, living, living the quarantine life. And, yeah. So, and so call in, let us know how you're doing. Uh, please try to keep it between 30 and 60 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. And throw out your, throw out your name. Or if you want to keep it anonymous, that's f- fine as well. But throw out a name or Twitter handle. If it's not, you're not calling your girlfriend a pain in the ass or whatever. Yeah, you're worried you about. Know, tell us what you're betting on. Now that it's hard to bet on stuff like tell, tell, maybe you, you, you want to share a story like you've, uh, suggested to the children that we start playing rummy for actual money. <laughs> Break out the piggy bank kids. Break out the piggy bank. We got, um, man, we got a lot coming up towards the end of the podcast. We'll, there's a couple COVID-19 futures we'll hit oh. on and we're going to close the show out Ryan with a lock dog tease no. of quarantine behaviors. Oh, so that'll be, that'll be a fun <laughs> way to wrap things up, but uh, good time to catch up on some of the sound drops. We have a new sound drop that we will be using uh, all the time in the future. <laughs> and I, I, this already feels like a three seed, a two seed for bites bracket 2021. Ryan, please let people hear the greatness. Just, just to be clear, Skip Bayless. this is one uh, long clip that I think legitimately could have three teams, three b- small bites, make them bites bracket next year. Because Sean, I don't want to, I don't want to tease 2021 too much, but I've heard, I've heard talk of expansion oh, wow. of the bites bracket. Oh my god! Do a full 64. I've, I've heard rumors. I just busted right inside him, and he can't extend on me anymore, and he seems a little overwhelmed by my girth and tonnage. Right? Skip, <laughs> skip, skip, skip. skip. Girth and tonnage is a is a drop, right? Girth, well, or just tonnage. Let, uh, let's listen back right, and, one more and people in the live chat feel free it. to weigh in because I feel like I just busted inside him. <laughs> that's that's, that's a, one a, drop. Uh, and then he was overwhelmed by my girth and tonnage. <laughs> that's a separate drop. And maybe it's just, he was overwhelmed by my girth or girth and tonnage. So there's a lot of options. How to slice this beautiful right, let's, cake. Let's, let's take that Skip listen. Bayless gave us. I just busted right inside him and he can't extend on me anymore. And he seems a little overwhelmed by my girth and tonnage, right? <laughs> uh, oh God. Champagne problems really to, to have this great piece of art that skip Bayless gave us that we have to figure out how to break down. It is uh it is a good problem. Uh, it is a have, shame. Right? They're not doing the show anymore. Right? So is that show canceled? I, I think so. It seems like just everything's canceled except our podcast. And that's the way we're <laughs> keeping things right. We got some, uh, got some actual bets here coming up right off the, my board. But before we break those down, Ooh, you know what we're going to talk about? Ryan, it is simply safe. I mean, if there ever was a time to get yourself some home security, now is the time. Don't know what's going out there. People, people coming for your house. You want, you want to get simply safe, man. Home security. It's like getting commercial grade enterprise level security, but for your home, it's the same kind of security fortune 500 companies use. This is exactly the kind of security you get with simply safe. And honestly, this is a time when you may, maybe some zombies come from the COVID-19 or maybe just, Hey, now that bars aren't open, we heard Sean has a ton of whiskey in his house. We're going to come break through there. Nice try. I got simply safe. I'm taken care of. As soon as you scoundrels break into my house, police dispatch up to 350% faster than the normal burglar alarm. 
because they have their uh, video evidence to give the police an eyewitness account. Cops will be on the scene arresting you, getting my whiskey back. Simply safe, comprehensive protection for your home. Entry motion, entry motion, yeah. <laughs> entry motion and glass break sensors guard inside. It's all monitored 24 7 by live security professionals. Ooh. 50 cents a day, no contracts for the live security monitoring. All you gotta do is go to simplysafe.com slash SGP, get free shipping on your order, plus a 60 day money back guarantee. You're not gonna, you're not gonna need to return it. Once you live that simply safe life, there's no going back. But uh, just in case, that's simplysafe.com slash SGP to save on home security. S I M P L I safe.com slash S G P. Yeah, I freaked the guy out at the weed store when I when he was like, yeah, "Everyone's out, get preparing, getting their rations, going to the weed store, going to the grocery store," and then I go and getting bullets. <laughs> That's <laughs> the last thing you Whoa, need to bro. do. It's paranoid. <laughs> I mean, those people are paranoid enough working at the dispenser. You don't need to make things uh, worse, Ryan, by by throwing the idea of bullets out there. That's crazy. I, I'm just letting them know when the zombies come. I don't. As much as I love my simply safe setup, Sean, at any given moment, I can pop on a camera and see what's going on in the studio. It's great. Yeah. But if and the our studio itself is protected by simply safe, if the zombies come, it's going to be, come, it's right. going to be a co-production between bullets and simply safe. That's a great, that's a great, that's a winning play. That's a good yeah, stack. They're going to be co-producers on simply those. safe and bullets. <laughs> All right. My bookie dad, a G. Okay. Next sport to play NBA plus 200 MLB plus 200 NHL plus 210 MLS not listed as it's not a sport. <laughs> uh, I originally said NBA last podcast does think part of me thinks NHL, but again, I, I think all the foreigners in the NHL NBA was the first to cancel. I'm going to go on a limb and say they're the first to play really well. Yeah, I'll go NBA plus 200. Although MLB, the guy's probably the least amount of contact at plus 200. Where, where, where are you leading? All right. So you have the issue with the NBA, which is they have the youngest age, which means they're most likely to probably not give a shit about this because it's just killing all the old people. Yeah, I learned a lot about this, this boomer terminology I learned about from yeah. TikTok. They, they called old people boomers. So now yep. it's called, they the call the disease, the, the boomer, boomer remo remover. Well, I, so I was trying to get the origin. So I'm asking the kids, like, do you, you're on TikTok? Do you know this? And, and finally I got it out of them. Like there's a, they say, okay, boomer for like, okay, old person. Yeah. Like boomers are over on Facebook. Right. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, less boomers on the, uh, on the NBA rosters, maybe they're more likely to come back. My thing is that that just, I just feel like that baseball is just so not pro they lack progression that they're going to, they're going to come back early so they can get all their games in. So they don't need an asterisk. Hmm. I feel like that will matter to like the NBA won't care. If anything, this is a pilot for how you make a shorter regular season and just have yeah, more I mean, playoffs. They did that uh, I mean, NBA has done that before with the lockout. Uh, but baseball it's weird because yeah, you're, you're right. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to change my opinion. I'm going to go baseball because baseball, you're right. Really wants to get to 162 games in, and they can't, they can't really stretch it too far because it's just going to be a nightmare. Weather wise, they can also, I feel like baseball is the easiest sport to play without fans. Yeah. There's I mean, not it's much not, difference. not a huge difference right now. Yeah. And again, if you just had those 10 guys or whatever, 20 guys or no, what with all the lineups and whatever, it's like 40 people spread out in a giant stadium. You're fine. And uh, there's not a lot of like, it's not like basketball where you're rubbing up against each other. They don't sweat a lot in baseball. Cause it's not really a sport. It's more an activity. Baseball players also for the most part, don't make a lot of money. Big mm. disparity, more players who need to play games. Uh, well, and the baseball union of all the player unions is the most powerful. Uh, you're right. I think they're going to want these guys not to be missing paychecks. I think they're actually going to be leaning into like, Hey, we got to play. We got to go out there. Let us, let us play some freaking baseball. Well, the NBA has the most power. I think the players, well, so, and, and I think the players can create a situation where like 
they're not coming back till the playoff. Like, let's be real. Yeah. They're, if they come back, it'll be for the playoffs. Let's agree. Are there any close matchups that need to like figure out the eight seed? Okay, whatever. What if we just came back and everyone just entered a tournament and the the bot, maybe like, that is the what replaces. Team, oh wait, we just solved something here. The teams that would be in the playoffs, they get buys, maybe one or two, depending yeah. on how bad you are. So you, everyone gets an opportunity because of the shortened season to play their way in. And yeah, then top top six seeds are locked in, and then the seven and eight in the East and the West, they're all just in a big tournament. So even the Knicks, Ryan, may have a shot at the playoffs. That was hilarious. That the Knicks were really pushing hard for the season not to end. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I was having this conversation with someone. I forget who it might have been. The guy at the liquor store, but uh, he. <laughs> He couldn't understand it. He he couldn't understand it. And it's what he's like, why why are they doing that? He knows I'm a Knicks fan. I'm like, dude, every time I come in here, you want to talk basketball, <laughs> you act like I'm somehow dialed into what Jimmy Dolan's up to. No idea. Jimmy I Dolan. Think, insane I think person. he's just a huge fan of Trump, probably, and wants to make sure he's he's being heard that he's <laughs> I'm falling going in all line. in on Trump. Yeah, I think uh and, anyway. Uh the raging majority on the YouTube chat brought up a good point. He said uh, the players get infected in baseball built in excuse to use steroids. And there was actually a, a news <laughs> report saying that uh, steroids are a good tool to fight COVID-19. And I, of course, tweeted at Jose Canseco, just saying more good news, bro. Well, anytime but, you have, uh, you know, steroids are used to, to help the body fight a lot of things. So it would make sense that it would help, you know, make your body survive a little bit. It's, I mean, it's essentially that, that, that shot that you jam into your chest in Pulp Fiction or in any video game ever where you get the adrenaline shot. You get that star in a Super Mario Brothers. This one's a, another uh, COVID related prop. Next NBA game, NBA resumes. This is my bookie had this earlier. Come I know, down uh, now. McKee uh, tweeted it out in the Slack. I don't know if it's still out there, but NBA resume before April 15th, plus 175, on or after April 15th, minus 260. I mean, if you can still get that now, lock that thing up. Wow. Okay. Cause the one that I pulled was May four. It was basically yeah. May fourth at four and a half is yeah. the line under is minus one ten over is minus one ten. It, so. It's crazy the discrepancies here, because obviously they're just kind of making these lines up. But if you can still get on that NBA resume after four fifteen, lock that up at minus two sixty. That is an insane uh I mean, just go all in on that. Well, and now I'm seeing my bookie. I'm I'm right on the site as we speak. MB over under June first for the NBA, NHL, and MLS. NBA minus three hundred to be before June first. After is plus two hundred. NHL before minus three hundred. After plus two hundred. MLS before plus two twenty. After hmm. minus two sixty. Last one, Sean. Will the Kentucky Derby run on May second? Yes, plus one sixty. No, only minus two hundred. People Every, can bet remotely. Everything's yeah. It seems like everything's being canceled, but horse racing. Uh, and we gotta we gotta work on getting some horse racing content going. Can but, jockeys get the coronavirus? Do have we do we have a confirmed case? Well, they are a different breed of well, human. Children, I know, can't. <laughs> so I'm wondering. They're also small. Much, yeah, they're small bodies. They're immune to it. Uh, and the horses, I don't think they can get it. So I'm gonna say yes that the Kentucky Derby will be ran. Ryan, am I crazy? Oh God, that, wouldn't that be great? Give us something to do. Oh yeah. I mean, the problem is with that, it's only like 12 minutes. There's a whole I mean, day of racing though. That is awesome. So we'll get to bed on. I'm something. coming off my uh, last year, my country house. That's right. Was that last year? It felt longer. Hot dog eating contest. Does it happen on July fourth? <laughs> uh, I hope so. What are the prices on that? Uh, you can bet right now. Men's total hot dogs eaten is seventy one and a half minus mm. one forty on the over. I don't see anything of will it happen. I think we're just assuming it's America. They'll they'll have hot dog contest. Yeah, but will it be the same without the fans? Will there be fans at the hot? I don't know. What else we got, Sean? What else we got? Oh, well, they're going to, uh, are we going to attempt to make a couple esports picks here, Ryan? We could. Yes. I, uh, all right. We got League of Legends. Oh, my God. There's so many. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go. League of Legends, March 16th, LOL. 
Yeah, let me pull it up. Make sure we're looking at the same event. Or, or I went I to the event? I went to the Riot BRCC March sixteenth. Give me the Inner Gala- Galaxy Tigers plus five ninety nine. Okay. And also Team One Esports uh, versus Red Cannons. I'm all wow, over. Okay. Plus two thirty five dog. I'm just gonna keep playing these giant dogs in esports. Um, it, it just makes sense to me. Again, I I compared it to MMA where anyone can win a video game, right? And yeah. I assume the same thing, the same thing is is happening here, um, in esports. But Kramer, what are you doing? Well, I I know you wanted to go with the BRCC. Well, I myself I went I went with the Dream hack Nordic championship. Of course, Sean, you know, I'm a big fan of Vikings. And what I see here is Nordavind, which Mm. I have to imagine is a hometown, a local team of heroes. They're somehow a plus one Oh six underdog. I also Googled some pictures. Uh, Yes, please give me this. I will be watching. This is a 1 PM. Do they say uh, startup initiation? How do we how do we call the beginning of a game? Oh, we uh, really gotta get a, where we drop no, boys. We Fortnite. gotta we're we're gonna talk UFC, right? Yes. We gotta get Rich back on. We know he was dabbling. Yeah, in he e-sports, can do both. He can do play. esports and UFC. Those are his two favorite things. His he doesn't even know there's a coronavirus right now. <laughs> Just like what are you talking <laughs> Everything's about? Everything's still going. Yeah. What? Business as usual for. Do you Rich. have a? Because uh, I have one more pick for us. Sure. Me. Throw that out there. Well, I, I saw that the uh, the Counter Strike Global Offensive Nor- e- e- S- e- a North America CS:GO competition. Oh, is that happening today? It's yeah, happening come on. Today, Brian um, Reese he uh, checking in on YouTube wants to know where can I find the esports injury report. Great question. What sure, happens? These, you think uh, I could see some thumb related injuries. Uh, you know what I think probably happens a lot. Excessive masturbating. Well, if you're an esports athlete, you should listen because Get Roman is the exact kind of place that you may need to go to make sure your erections operating. Because I would imagine these guys just go through these rage moments. Do you know what I just learned, Sean? That you can you can pay someone to put technology equipment in a room so you can go smash it. Really? This is how these guys get off because they don't know about ejaculate. We need to. That would be a great uh, premise to a movie where much like Lawrence Taylor, who would send women over the night before to distract his opponent, an esport guy on the rise realizes that hiring ladies of the night and sending them to his esport counter, uh, the people he's going up against in esports. Now Wait. the next day they're all drained. They got no tea left over for the counter strike game. I feel like although esports is big, esports is not that big to where we we could probably do the intel on where these guys say and yeah. legitimately just send like a bus of horrors over there and, and impact an actual uh, or event. just talk to them and go up to them and be like candidly <laughs> listen do you want 10 grand this is just a this is just a How dumb much? video game what are they paying you uh, they might be making 10, a lot of money 10k and a case of mountain dew code red come on we got. I mean, that's got to be the easiest sport to bribe is someone in the esports league. You definitely, you know, throwing in the mountain. Although probably better to throw in some Red Bull or something like that. They do love their energy drinks. All right, I'm I'm done with. I I, I don't want to be one of these touts that's trying to be something they're not. <laughs> now I'm, I we I've, will be. We'll, uh, we're gonna. We got a guy who actually is an esports guy on sportsgamblingpodcast.com. He's gonna be throwing out some picks. So we we have that for you guys for sure. Ace per head. A lot of people are saying, what are you thinking? Starting your own sports book now. Now is the perfect time. Everyone like us, degenerates scrambling, looking for looking for places to gamble. And of course, aceperhead.com slash SGP. Aceperhead.com slash SGP. They got their own online casino you could do. You're setting up your own sports book. It includes a lot of online gambling options. They even dabble in the esports, Mexican soccer. They got it all over at acebread.com slash SGP. Some of the sharpest lines in the industry. Really, now is your time because a lot of people have tons of free time. You think, oh my God, the gambling handle must be down. I know a guy who runs an ace per head site <laughs> and he he hit me, he sent me a screenshot. I'm like, dude, you must be getting killed. He sent me a screenshot that his players were down a tremendous amount of money over 10 K in the week. And I'm like, what are they betting on? He's like, they find something to bet on. 
betting degeneracy, much like love, it finds a way. And go to aceforhead.com slash SGP. Get yourself set up with the easiest and best paperhead provider. As we teased earlier on the show, Ryan, uh, we will be doing our own lock dog tease. Lock dog tease of quarantine activities and feel free to tweet yours in at gambling podcast. Happy to retweet. We already gave out a, uh, a sweatshirt, a hoodie for uh, someone who had the worst Corona relate uh, Corona related bad beat, And that was our buddy link Calhoun uh-huh. who really knows his golf. And if you look at his, uh, I mean, what he tweeted in, like he had Matsui, he had like three guys in after the top one five. round at the championship. He had the top three guys, and they were all north of. I think the f- most favorite was twenty five to one. Yeah, all the way up to like one hundred and twenty five to one. Uh, yeah, he had it was crazy, horrible bad beat. So we hooked him up with the sweatshirt. Oh, that was nice of us. We're part of the healing process, right? Our stuff does not come from China either, so no, don't have to worry about that. It comes from Massachusetts, so uh, who knows what's going on? Over. <laughs> I don't know if you saw those pictures. It's a of baby Saint- fucking wheel, man. St. Patrick's Day in in Boston. Oh man, that is just. just- just saliva being sprayed everywhere. Lock dog teas for quarantine behaviors. Feel free to send in your own best one. We'll get, of course, a lock dog teas t shirt, which you can grab over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash merch. I know they were running free shipping this weekend, so if you're hearing this on Sunday, still time. Take advantage of the free shipping, and they got a 10% off promo codes as well on the site. So check that out. Support SGPN. Kramer, do you want to go first? Well, I'll tell you what I'm locking up. And well, I, and real I, qu- and I don't know if we're on the same page in terms of what these things will be. I'm excited well, real to find quick out. to explain the premise we kind of came up with. The lock quarantine behavior is like something simple, something safe, good return, not going to be messed up. Don't risk uh, putting yourself out there to germs or just uh, you know a horrible nightmare. Dog is something that you think you should do. It's more risk, more reward. The tease is essentially something that really you're stretching and probably isn't going to work out for you. Thus, it's a tease. You're trying to parlay maybe a lot of behaviors or just go out for a real stretch. So that's how we're kind of breaking the lock dog and tease down for least. For my lock, playing four player Mario Kart with the family for hours and introducing betting chores Ooh, along the way. I like that. That is a that is a great idea. Well, a we're playing a great family game. B only requires a couple buttons on the controller. Very, Very easy, easy yeah. to play for us boomers. <laughs> and third, introducing gambling concepts and including um, you know, I don't want to say it, but w- one of the one of the roommates of mine now has to wash dishes for a couple days in a row. So <laughs> You know, maybe oh, that's maybe, pretty awesome. maybe she'll be up. looking to chase tonight. I'll Double offer, up. I'll offer her another opportunity. That's nice of you, Ryan. My lock is, of course, it's a simple, it's a simple trifecta. WDH, <laughs> whiskey, dip, and hiking. Oh. Uh, just get a nice piece of chaw, head up to the mountains, get a little flask of whiskey. It's, I mean, it's germ-free. Get out there, feel the fresh air, feel a nice fresh lipper. Uh, there really couldn't be a better high than being up at elevation and getting a sweet hit off some citrus skull. Uh, also, just interacting with local mountain folk. Uh, this is never affected those people. No, they're up there in the hills. They're safe. You can do whatever you want with them. Kramer, what is your dog? Uh, well, my dog is also introducing the children to gambling. <laughs> And then not supervising all the opportunities they have to gamble with one another. Uh, high risk maneuver. Already had a number of fights. Oh, really? Uh, so the girls are gambling against each other, and there's uh, arguments about. Hey, I thought a push was didn't kill out a parlay. Let's just say we've had to reset and remind everyone the only fair way to settle a, settle a dispute is best out of five Rochambeau. <laughs> Rock, paper, or scissor. Encourage them to take all their online wagering to mybookie.ag, <laughs> the presenting sponsor of the Swartz Gambling Podcast. My dog is going to be convincing my eagle, uh, my wife, to watch the Eagles documentary mm. on Amazon. <laughs> I specifically saved. I I didn't know the coronavirus was coming, and again, I still think it's a little overblown, but that's another conversation oh that boy. I keep getting in arguments with my wife about. But 
Um, the Eagles documentary. It's on Amazon. I was saving it kind of when it got closer to the draft, but now perfect time to binge it. But now also I have to sell it on my wife who is an Eagles fan, but not quite as in depth, but the fact that it's a documentary, I think I can pull it off. It's going to take a little bit more work, a little higher reward. So that's my dog play of quarantine behavior. Uh, my tease ordering pizza. Ooh, feels like a fairly low risk, you know, not going to the pizza place to get it, not creating a cluster of people. It's going to be a single pizza guy. Yes. Well, now Domino's has a pizza tracker where uh, it's either red or green, whether or not your delivery driver has coronavirus. So that'll be really helpful. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's the guy. You can see the guy and they'll do a little pizza tracker tested negative for uh, coronavirus <sighs> heading over to your house. Well, here here's the part of the tease where what could possibly go wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, you see the car that the pizza delivery guy is walking back to up in your driveway is filled with four other adult males. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Oh, cluster of people. <laughs> My pizza is now infected. Now, uh, Sean and myself both ate this pizza. Uh, we ate the pizza yesterday as well. We are we are completely healthy. Oh, I did not know that was possibly <laughs> tainted pizza, Ryan. Jesus Christ! I oh, know we're safe. Yeah, we're safe. It's of course. There's enough grease on that pizza to kill whatever. No way coronavirus can live in that much grease. All right, for my tease, and that is leaving the house. And going to the movie theater mm. to watch Bloodshot, starring Vin <laughs> Diesel. It's the movie about Vin Diesel coming back from the dead, a soldier. It requires a lot. Hey, my really? wife. Yeah, he's, they, yeah, of course. He's, he's coming Vin back Diesel. from the dead. That was again. That was one of the greatest <laughs> casualties so far in the coronavirus. Was Fast and Furious Nine has been delayed a year, which is just a fucking nightmare. But Bloodshot, <laughs> again, I think it's going to be safe. Because there's probably not going to be a huge crowd at no. a opening weekend of Bloodshot. <laughs> I think the, I feel safe with the six foot distance, but you never know. There's the, uh, of course, the people doing the, I mean, the the hand pump on the butter that could be a nightmare. The, of course, the bathroom, whatever goes on in there at the ArcLight. <sighs> I was actually quick sidebar. I was at the ArcLight, the nice movie theater in Pasadena, and uh, a guy. They have a bar there, so you can have a couple cocktails, take it into the theater. And a guy was forcibly removed for being too drunk at the ArcLight bar, which is the craziest thing I've ever seen. They he comes up and he tries to order. They don't they don't give him a drink because he's clearly oh. hammered. They keep asking if he wants a cup of coffee. <laughs> and then they, they ask him to step outside and then slowly he's like, I just want to watch a movie. They're like, Did you already buy tickets to a movie? He goes, No, that's why I want to what movies are on. And just like yelling at the security people. Uh, they were terrified. They eventually just Got him out of the area, and uh, yeah, I'm sure he got into his car, and he was totally fine. Which, by by the way, Sean, talking about crazy public behavior, have you witnessed anyone siphoning hand sanitizer? Is what I'm going to call it. No, I've heard of I've heard stories. This old lady. So where I'm at the bank, I'm getting some uh, cash just in case. Which, by the way, uh, I was actually going to get cash for a completely unrelated reason. March I, Madness, I, and they go, sir, are you okay with fifties? And I'm like, why are people coming and taking all the money out to put it in their mattress? Like just joking around. No, people are coming to take the money. Anyway, this old lady in the, in the stall or whatever next to me is just sitting there. Just she's got this, like, it's not even a, a Purell jar. It's like a Mason jar. And she's just slamming it up. She's just slamming it against the, it's one of these like hand pump ones. And she's just slamming it. And, and you could tell the person who works at the bank is like, she's an old lady. I, I don't, I, how do you tell her to stop? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh, meanwhile, I'm there with the kids <laughs> and they're like, what is this old lady? What's going doing? on? She's so stealing anyway, hand sanitizer. You, but I, I've seen it twice now. I also saw it at the grocery store. Oh, grocery right. store is just insane. It's uh, I, I went last night just to grab a couple things and they they have like a bouncer at the grocery store. Now we're closing in five minutes. I'm like, all right, I just need to get they, some, the fire department was parked outside one of the groceries. Yeah. They're preventing any sort of rioting. When you're talking about hand sanitizers, it does remind me I was at the hospital once. This is years and years ago. And a, uh, this is like downtown LA super sketchy hospital where I had no health insurance. And 
uh, it was LA County USC, which is like basically where they take prisoners yeah. or poor people, like I was at the time. And uh, I'm there waiting, and this uh, homeless guy comes in, looks at the hand sanitizer, turns his head, <laughs> and just starts pumping it into his mouth. And I had no idea, but like severely ill alcoholics will drink hand sanitizer because it has a whatever sort wow. of alcohol. Okay. Quantity. Well, Sean, it's a little more, a little, uh, just, did you know there people are, uh, openly mocking us in the comments saying we're doing a three hour college experience. I, I assume <laughs> they're not asking for that. They're mocking us. Uh, Sean, we are nearing an hour and 10 minutes. Yep. If, if not, we've Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Give us some iTunes reviews guys. We're at your quarantine, right? You can't, you can't spare uh two minutes to go over there. Head over to the iTunes, drop in a five star review. Help keep this content train a roll and support the sponsors. You know, come on. This is the sponsor driven show. All this free podcast, all these free content. We're paying our guys, much like the XFL. We're going to get through this. Support the sponsors, support the podcast. Appreciate all your support, guys. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Stay safe, y'all. Kramer, let it ride.